Ed, this is horrific. I, I'm just, I'm just sick of this stuff. I'm sick of it. Doesn't seem like there's any urgency. You know who we need on this case, right? Oh yeah. Dr. G. Definitely Dr. G explains. So that big sigh before he's saying he dropped her off. We tend to do that as a way to relieve stress. We need to take in more oxygen when we're feeling stressed out. So that big breath out can oftentimes be a way to try to calm ourselves down. So he's just trying to calm himself down, talking about what happened that day. Just wanted to point that out as we keep going. What were the conversations that y'all had in the car when you dropped her off? Not much. She was asleep for most of the way. Told her have a good day at school when she got out. I love her. She said, thanks. Love you too. What was it? That's the cover story. She was asleep instead of being dead. He responded vaguely to this. What kind of conversations did you have? He's avoiding providing specific details. The last thing, I guess, that the conversation that you two had, you and your daughter. Um, we spoke about her birthday party. She had a birthday party on Sunday. Uh, she had a great time. Uh, I couldn't make it because I was working. Oh, well, she was working. But okay. she had an amazing time. She was so happy with all her. Now she hadn't been found yet. She's 13 no. years old. Yeah. She met a lot. Yep. Yeah. Just please be nice to her. Bring her home if you. So for a second, it seems like he was tempted to try to plead to the camera, but lost his nerve. This only lasted for a split second when he started this, but rather than acting as though he's actually talking to somebody, it's like he starts it, but then doesn't commit. Now you may have noticed that you're hearing some sounds related to crying, like sniffing and a, a wavering voice, but we haven't seen a single tear. And I always think that that's worth noting. Crying with no tears, always stands out to me now that doesn't mean that everybody has to cry because they're upset but if you're doing all the things related to crying wiping your eyes sniffing your nose speaking with a wavering voice then you tend to assume you're going to see at least one or two tears we have not seen any yet it's hard not to blame myself what has the conversation been with jen since <sighs> she's been very and after he said it's hard not to blame myself there was a big sigh afterward. It seemed like there was some relief after getting that piece out before going on to the next. So you'll notice he does have a tendency to let out big sighs sometimes. Being This guy should not even breathe the air that we breathe. The science does not lie. The evidence in this case... I think anybody watching this probably already knows what I'm about to say, which is that his performance when it came to the crying and when it came to having to stop himself for a second, we still haven't seen a single tear despite the crying or the sa the sounds that go along with crying she hasn't been active on social media none now you'll notice right now his arm is a bit out his posture is taking up more space he doesn't comfortably have his hands in his lap he's sitting in a position that you might consider dominant you could also interpret his presence at all as being somewhat aggressive why sit behind somebody why not join for the interview why not talk about it ahead of time 